So in each chapter of my book, I share personal stories from children that have kind of applied um, the science of well-being to their to their lives. Um, and they're in the sections called Tales from the Classroom. And there's one particular one in the chapter called What Went Well. Um, and it's about a boy called Peter who um, he had had a tough start to his life. He was a shy boy when he joined my class and it later transpired that he had been taken into care because he'd grown up in a house where he'd experienced domestic violence. Um, so when we sat down every week to do our What Went Wells and uh, reflect on our week and think about the, the three good things that have happened to us, Peter was very reluctant to do this. He didn't want to do it at all. He always said, nothing good has happened. And so either myself or my teaching assistant would sit down with him every week and we would point out the good things that um, he had done that week. So it might have been um, a great piece of writing done in English. It might have been a fantastic piece of artwork that he'd done. It might have been a goal that he'd scored during football training. Each week, you know, Peter was still reluctant to do his What Went Wells, but over time, bit by bit, he started to kind of engage with the activity um, and kind of do it independently by himself. And then one Friday afternoon, it's a particularly busy day, I was handing out letters, I was getting calls from the office. Um, I completely forgotten to do what went well and just about to send the children home uh, for the week and I felt a kind of tap on my leg and it was Peter uh, kind of grinning up at me and he said, Mr. Bethian, we forgot to do our what went wells. Uh, and so that was the moment I know that I knew that um, it had was really having an impact on his life and that he was now able to kind of savour and celebrate the small good things that were happening in his life every day. Mm -hmm.